Hello everyone. Today we are having a look at the mini brands, mini fashion collectibles. Now these ones, I'm just having a look at some other brands at least until the Disney Dorable Series 9 comes out. Now if you've seen my last video and short, I have been checking every day on the internet in every single store that I can think of that would sell Disney Dorables to see if Series 9 is out and nope, there has been zero absolutely zero zip nada nothing of series nine in australia so hopefully they will be out soon but in the meantime i'm going to check out some other brands other collectibles that i think actually look good so this box here well mini fashion mini fashion they come with real fabric fashion bags and accessories and there are 40 plus to collect so you can actually see one of them in this box here. So looking at that when I was walking past the store, I thought that actually is quite detailed and it also is quite small. So it'll fit into your hand, which I quite like as a collectible. So since this is all on clearance, one whole box and two balls, I just bought the whole lot. Uh, it was on clearance because Series 2 Mini Fashion are coming out. Well, actually, they actually are out in stores right now. That's why these are on clearance. But because this is Mumbo's Collectos, I'm going to use these as a science experiment. I'm going to weigh every one of these balls to see if I can figure out which bag is going to be in which ball. And if that actually works out, then I'll buy the Mini Fashion Series 2 balls and hopefully I'll get the weights for those as well. And if you do actually collect these items, it'll save you some money because then you should be able to pinpoint which bowl is going to have which bag in it. All right, let's get into it. Before we get into weighing the bags, this is the side of the box where it actually shows some of the other bags you can collect. And I'm really looking forward to this one and this one. Actually, this one here looks pretty good too. Actually, <laughs> they all look pretty good. Um, but I think these three here, possibly this one too, are my favorites. Weighing time. Here is ball one. And this one weighs 54 grams. So we'll put that sticker on there. I have now weighed all of the balls and you can see them right here. I'll open most of these, but I think we actually do have quite a lot of doubles, which isn't a surprise because these are the clearance balls. Now, unlike the Disney Dorables, I can't seem to find a code on them that will tell you what's in the box. There is this code here, DG2021. 1201 so this one weighs 51 but say if we get one that weighs completely different weight it's exactly the same code so unlike disney dorables you i don't think you can actually check what's in these by looking at codes i think that's just the batch number um probably made in 2021 12th month, 1st of the 12th, I don't know, something like that. Okay, so let's check out my theory and we'll unbox these balls. I might, so for example, these two 45 gram balls, I might unbox both and if they're the same bag, I'm not going to open the other two um, because then hopefully that means they're the same ones. Okay, let's go to unboxing. Unboxing time. So this is the 45 gram ball and there's three balls over there that are also 45 grams. So I might open two of these just to check the theory. Let's see how we go. All right, here's the bags. I have a feeling I'm going to like the bags better than the accessories. Bags here. So you can get rare bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, nine common. 
and three rare and then you've got five fashion surprises inside these things here okay so you can get a couple dogs sunglasses bags lipsticks all these things okay these would be the accessories get a sticker mf mini brands fashion sunglasses okay the thing i really want to look at is the bag all right so this looks pretty good you these two strings here you can close the bag yeah not bad i don't mind the quality at all it feels very soft it's just got some padding inside and then you can put these things in here and you got your little bag we've opened our first bag over here the first one at 45 grams and we've got three over here so i will just open now the second one at 45 grams and if it's the same as this one i'm not opening the other two i will sell those We'll give them away as presents and let's go okay moment of truth will this have the same as that one yes exactly the same i'm not going to bother opening the accessories so there you go you can do it by weight so i will save those two over there i'll sell them or give them away as gifts let's open some of the other ones i'm just going to open each different weight and let's see which bags we get here we have ball 46 grams Oh wow, that's nice detail on that one. Brush with real fur hair. <laughs> Compact mirror. Okay, for so for little accessories, they're you know quite detailed, and it's good how they can be opened. Nice detail on the top there. Well, these are really, you know, like Barbie accessories. So if you've got kids that want to play with the accessories, that's pretty cool. Yay! I wanted this one. Good. I really like this one. I think this one looks amazing. Little clasp. It's a magnetic so wow see even that little detail they've gone and sewn a magnet under there so it still clasps up that's great I like that one let's put the little accessories inside they're probably the best accessories so far ok 
Okay, so that was the 46 gram ball. This one here is 50 grams. Okay, we've got a different accessory. Can't take that off. MF on everything, mini fashion. And another lip gloss. And another compact. Yay, green bag. So, yeah, these look great. So this was the 50 gram bowl. Feels nice. Let's put all the accessories in here. We have bowl 48 grams. Crunched up sticker. Ah, oh, we've got our first dog. A chihuahua. With MF on the collar. Mini fashion. And we've got gold lipstick, pink, and the cream. Oh, I thought we had the same bag as before when I first saw these, but it's a different one, which is great. So this is a takeoff on Louis Vuitton bags. They've got MF. But see, that's made quite well as well. This one doesn't close, but big enough to put the puppy dog in it. We have our 43 gram bag. This capture was made from certified recycled plastic. Great. You would hope so with the amount of plastic that I'm taking off these bowls. Glasses again, tube, that sticker again, and the compact mirror, oh what, okay so we've got this bag before, but so far this is the first one that I've opened that is, um, wasn't the same weight, so I guess they're all weigh a little bit different, but the weights will still help out, I think, as all the other bowls uh, have shown so far. I'll do the summary conclusion at the end of the video once I've unboxed everything. The 52 gram bowl, and I had two of these. I like how these bags aren't plastic. These are just paper. Okay, got that. Sticker again. Got glasses. We've seen that before. This one's different. Oh, lipstick. Oh, and the lipstick itself is not hard plastic like that. It's actually soft plastic, so it's bendable. Another nice touch and the cream, which we've seen before. Okay. 
Yeah, different bag. This is the same one that was in the display case. So it's got a few charms, nice touch. This one can't close. That's okay, not all bags can close, I guess. Put the accessories in there. Here we have the 54 gram ball. And I only had one of these. Oh, wow. We got... Let's have a look here. I think that is the rare, that's a rare accessory, rare accessory, diamond ring. Maybe I should actually open all the accessories. Wow. Okay, you can take it out. There's the diamond ring. So plastic diamond ring of course it's not gonna be a real diamond and it goes into this here that's pretty cool we got a rare i didn't think that'd be possible with just a clearance box there you go we also have, okay, you can't open this one, but that still looks pretty good for an accessory. And a little bag. This one's a bit meh. All right, let's get to the bag. This is the sticker. And I just noticed as well, the whole uh, collecting booklet is in the shape of a bag. That's a nice little detail. Yay! This one looks pretty cool. Bit of detail here. See, it's even got the stitches inside. And you can see it's got the magnet in there too. Yeah, I'm quite I'm quite impressed with the uh, bags. They look nice. Accessories not so much, but yeah, the bags look great. We have our last bowl, 51 grams. And I actually had two of these, so I'm only going to open one. Same as the other bag. Oh, perfume. You can take the lid off. Oops. Glasses. Yay! Last bag is one of the ones I wanted as well. This one looks great. So this isn't actually a furry bag, it's just the pattern. And I would say, yep, there is a magnet in there because the chain was even sticking to it. So wow, look at the detail. That looks great. Fantastic. That's a nice surprise. Okay, put all those back in there. And let's get to the summary. And here are the bags and accessories together of everything that I opened, minus 
of course, the five balls that I did not open because they were the same weights as one of these ones here. I'm, yeah, I'm quite impressed with this set. Uh, the bags look amazing. They've just got such amazing detail. I mean, this isn't a zip here. It's a printed on zip, but all these little details here. The material feels nice. Like, they look great. It's not like your Barbie accessories. Like, these actually look good. And disclaimer, I haven't actually looked at any Barbie dolls or their accessories for a long time, but when I was growing up, they didn't look like this. This looks good. The design, they've really taken care of it, um, making it really well. The accessories as well. I mean, the accessories remind me of Barbie accessories. Um, I do like how they can open and close and you can, you know, pull these things out. That's a nice touch. They are better than Barbie accessories. They've got nice detail like this here has, you know, the cream inside. They didn't have to do that. They could have just had an empty thing, but they've added that. So, you know, just adding these little details like that just makes a difference. I do like this set. I think I'll collect, definitely collect series two. The weights worked. I did open another one, this one. I'll have to rewind the video. I think it was 43 grams, whereas the other four were 45 grams. I'm guessing, you know what, it's the discrepancy in weight because of the accessories, depending on what accessories are in with the bags, because, you know, a gram here and there, they're quite light weight. This is my favorite by far because it's got just so much great detail. Um, I like the pattern on it. I guess this is a grown-up bag. Just looks good. I do quite like all the bags. Um, this one as well is good. I love how they've got the magnets inside. Just little touches like that. This is what makes like a real adult collector's item. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot to mention about the weights. So all these ones that I bought were on clearance, which means I can't return them, which is okay because I got them on clearance. They were really cheap and I was doing a science experiment with this. Now, series two of these are out now and they look pretty good too. They're $10 per ball at Kmart, which, you know, for the amount of detail that are in these, they probably are worth $10, you know. Um, but if you do collect a lot of items like I do, <laughs> it does add up. So what you can do is either take your weighing scales into the shops and weigh each ball or keep your receipt, take them home, weigh all of the balls. And, you know, if you get three that are the same weight, 45 grams, most likely it's going to be the same bag. So it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for the bag specifically, then doesn't matter if they're three that are 45 grams return the other two and swap them out for two other balls and then do the same thing again take them home weigh them and if they are the same weight or different weights you know great different weights you can open them and hopefully you get a different bag if you are actually looking for all the accessories as well uh, you can trade them in groups or on marketplace i guess or if you got the money buy as many as you want and open them all up Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, it should help with saving some money. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope that was enjoyable for you. It was definitely enjoyable for me. I've never seen these before. I've, you know, I'm very impressed with them. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be obsessed with collecting these lots as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you can, like and subscribe. It helps me keep making these videos. And Hang out for part two when I open the other five bowls. <laughs>